exist As the world turns, I churn Rum on my tongue till it burn My only concern's to learn new ways to earn the cream I earn like fiends do coke To invest in West Indian smoke Debit C notes, or Lebanese dope The more coke I conjure The closer I get, the lamp in the culture Bomba, ain't even gotta approach the drama Sweets in the walled off, surrounded by thugs With sword offs, cash and majorities Keep love authorities, ward off Elliot Ness steadily massages my dick Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be a sample shopping episode. Of course, sponsored by Adriana over at Decan Shop. That is the best place for you to get samples of different fragrances on the net. Great selection, great prices, speedy delivery. You get exactly what you pay for. And if you use my coupon code MAX12, it's going to save you 12% off your entire order. So just a great deal all the way around. We have five fragrances to look at today. Um, all of these are available at decantshop.com and you can use my coupon code to purchase any of them. The first one I want to talk about is from the House of Diptyque. This one is called Fisokos. Um, this was a 1996 release. Uh, it was done by one of my favorite perfumers, Olivia Giacobetti. Um, and the notes on this one are fig leaf and fig at the top. Uh, in the middle, you're going to get coconut and green notes, and the base, cedar woods and fig tree. You can purchase this one um, online for about $90 to $150, depending on what size you get. It's also available at the Diptyque, obviously, retail outlets. Hard to find these discounted. There are quite a few from the Diptyque I, I'd like. Uh, the only one I own is uh, 34 Low, uh, and I would definitely like to get their, their Oud fragrance. I think that one's really good. Uh, this one is really classic fig fragrance. A lot of people say it's the best fig fragrance of all time. I think that, that, there, that might, might be true. You know, there are some good ones out there. I think I prefer Fico di Amalfi. Uh, that one's a little more fruity. This one's a little bit more green. You get some coconut in this one. Uh, you, you do get those green notes. It's a little woody uh, in the base. If you're looking for a great fig fragrance, you, know, you can do a lot worse than this one. I'd probably check this out. Uh, I would check out Fico di Amalfi. I'd check out Premier Fig uh, from L'Artisan, which I believe Giacobetti also did. I could be wrong about that. I'd check out like the four or five big fig fragrances and just, just decide which one um, one does it for you. I'd also check out the um, the Armani, uh, I forget the name, but Armani has a, a wonderful fig fragrance in their, in their Privé line. I would check all of those guys out and just sort of decide which is best to you. I, per, I like Fico di Amalfi, but I think this one is lovely, and this one might have the most coconut of all these fragrances. So really good job by Giacobetti, uh, Giacobetti and Diptyque. The next fragrance is from the House of Bond number nine. It's not one you hear talked about in a, a lot. This one is called Lexington Avenue. Uh, this one came out in 2013, and it has notes of cypress, cardamom, star anise, citruses, and fennel at the top, peony, creme brulee, orris, and almond in the middle, patchouli and sandalwood in the base. I've seen this one for about 120 bucks online. From this house, I own Silver Factory, Bleecker Street, New Harlem, Love New York for All, Dot Com, and Shelter Island. I would like to get Fire Island, Highline, Success is a Job, and Queens, and I need to check out Sutton Place. This one, this one's really nice. I'm surprised this doesn't doesn't get more hype. It's super sweet. It's absolutely a gourmand. You get a lot of spice at the top. You get some cardamom. You get that star anise. Um, you get fennel. Fennel is big here. And then you sort of do get this gourmand creamy dessert note. That creme brulee shines through some almond. It's really nice. Um, I like star anise and fennel. I think people who watch my channel know that. So the combination of that with the creme brulee is just great. You know, like this is really good. I could see this being um, more feminine perhaps, but I love this. I, I think this is one of the better bonds I've tried, to be honest with you, that I didn't know anything about. And I think this is going on my to purchase list. I could see this really being good in the spring. It's not a super dense gourmand. It, it's a little bit transparent, but it, it's beautiful. It's a little bit floral. It's a little bit fruity. Um, it's spicy, it's sweet and creamy, it's excellent. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, this one is excellent. The citruses shine through, 
Uh, this is a great Bond fragrance, and it is going to go on my pickup list. So great job by Bond number nine. The next one is from the house of Atelier Colognes. This one is called Grand Neroli. Um, I only own one from this brand, Vetiver Fatale. Uh, there's a lot I'm interested in from this brand, but I think the only one at this point I'm going to put my cash up to buy would be Ambre Nui, which I think is a brilliant ambery, orangey, boozy scent. Um, there are many scents they make though that I think are really good, especially when you look at their citrus stuff. So I'm excited to see Grand Neroli, which was done by Cecile Krakauer, who I am unfamiliar with. Um, Note-wise on this one, we're going to get Moroccan Neroli, Lemon, Sicilian Bergamot, Petit Grain, Persian Galbanum, Moss, Birch Leaf, Pure Musk, White Amber, and Madagascar Vanilla. Prices for this one run about $70 to $125, depending on what size you pick up. And this is good. You know, if you like Josh Myers Mosaic for Imaginary Authors, if you like Neo by Zerzhoff or Kobe by Zerzhoff, you'll like this. This is your sort of clean Mediterranean neroli, a little bit soapy, woody. The pedigree really shines through in this one. Um, soapy neroli. You know, it's sort of the eau de cologne. It's really nice. I'm not sure how well this one performs. I wore it one day and it was good. And then I wore it another day and it was not good, but it is colder out. Um, I, I like this one. I gotta be honest with you. Now, I think if you're looking for like an Aroli scent, you probably wanna go to Zerzhov, something like that. Um, but this is interesting. This this could be a winner. So I, I don't know yet. I would say if you're an Aroli lover, give this one a look. Next up, let's go to the house of Joe Malone, guys. This one is called English Pear and Frisia. I don't own any from Joe Malone, shame on me. Uh, there's two that I'm interested in. One I know that I want, which is Pomegranate Noir, which we looked at at sample shopping and it, it floored me. And uh, I really wanna get Myrrh and Tonka as well. Uh, I smelled that one briefly and I thought that was really good. Um, this one was done by Christy Nagel, who is a brilliant perfumer in the air of Perrin and Hermes. I'm a big fan of her work. Pricing on this one is between $65 and $130, depending on whether you'd like a 30 ml or 100 ml. Hard to find this house discounted. They have their um, supply chain pretty well, uh, pretty well guarded. And uh, notes on this one are going to be melon and pear at the top, freesia and rose in the middle, and musk, patchouli, amber, and rhubarb. And in the base, rhubarb is a note that Christine Nagel seems to enjoy using. She obviously recently did that Hermes uh, fragrance, Rhubarb Eclat, I believe it's called. Um, this one came out in 2010. Now, this is, I wish this was more about pear. That's what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be pear and freesia. To me, it's just way more about freesia. Um, and so because of that, I'm not really into this one. There are, I really like pear fragrances. I love La Bella Lean by Parfums MTCI, which is a gorgeous gourmand pear, creamy pear. Uh, I love the Montal pear fragrance, um, the name of which escapes me the second, but Montal has a great pear fragrance. Um, you know, pears a note that you can't really extract anything from pear natural. You can't get a pear essential oil or a CO2 extraction or anything from a pear, so it does have to be synthetically reproduced. Um, and obviously there's some people that do a really good job at that and some, some companies that don't do a great job on it. I think here the whiff was just not using enough pear. This is way more floral to me with a little bits of hints of melon and pear and rhubarb, but the pear doesn't stand out. So to me, this one is not super impressive. It's also a very light fragrance. The last one, guys, is from the house of Serge Luton. This one, La Fille de Berlin. Uh, I own three from Serge, Shergi, Fille and Agui, and Five O'Clock Ocean Chambre. There are others I'd like to purchase from this house, but they've become almost impossible for me to get 
and regular bottles and you need to get them in those super expensive bell jars and those jars don't even have sprayers so I'm not that high in them. But some Serge Luton's fragrances I really like that uh, that just are really hard to get nowadays are Musk's Akubla Khan I think is grown on me, Iris Silver Mist, Santel Mysore. I'd love to get my nose on Tuberu's Criminal uh, and anything from the ultra expensive selection door lineup. The notes on this guy are going to be rose and geranium at the top, pomerosa in the middle, and patchouli moss and honey in the base. This was a 2013 creation by Christopher Sheldrake, the, to me, the perfumer at Serge Luton's. Um, you really can't find this one discounted too often, so you're probably going to pay around $120 if you have some interest in picking this one up. And this is a really nice rose fragrance. You guys know I'm not a rose dude typically, but this rose is a note that is slowly growing on me uh, as I delve into making my own sense. I'm sort of smelling different rose absolutes and rose uh, rose oils, and it really is a pretty note. I want to somehow do a fragrance that I like a rose fragrance. Um, there's some good high quality rose in this and I, I do like the the sort of mix of moss and rose and honey um i don't think it's super femme i know la fille de berlin i me, believe it means the woman um from berlin but i think a guy might be able to pull this off i mean it, it is more feminine i would say but i think if you're a guy you know and you you love rose fragrances i, I would give this one a look i think it's nice uh it's got that luton quality and that sort of serge luton darkness so um I think this is a good fragrance. I, really, I think it's a really, really nice rose fragrance. It's not the best I've ever smelled, but it's certainly better than, than plenty. So guys, if I'm ranking these, um, yeah, obviously bond number nine is going to go one. Um, I'd put Atelier Grand Neroli at three. I did like that one. I'd put Fisokos at three. I'd put the uh, Luton La Fide Berlin at four and Joe Malone English Parafresia at five. I will. At some point, we're getting bond number nine, Lexington Avenue. I don't think I'd get any of the others, although I don't know about Grand Neroli by Atelier. Maybe if the price was right on that one, it's possible. But guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, please support uh, Decan Shop. Use that coupon code max12decanshop.com. If you want any recommendations or fragrances you should pick up over there, you know, please feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment. I'd be happy to help you through that. Um, and as I said, these are going to be going every two weeks, these videos from now on. So, you know, wait a couple, wait a week or so, and, and the next one should be up. And, you know, if there's a fragrance on the can shop you, that you see that you'd love to hear me talk about, drop me a line and, uh, and I'll try to, to feature that one on the show. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching decanshop.com. but to this life I'm sworn. So I weather the storm, cause the cream the only thing a nigga need to keep warm. It goes money and moves, moves and money, gotta make